The best food supply in Barenti is only 50 yards away. But Katie and the museum gang can't get their hands on it. It belongs to their rivals, the Ruins Gang. It's a tiny piece of real estate, no bigger than a shipping container. But it holds the secret to the Ruins Gang's success. It's the tortoise pen. Home to endangered, radiated and spider tortoises. Two species found only on the island of Madagascar. Every day, the Berenti staff delivers a pile of fruit and veg for the rare reptiles. And every day, the Ruins gang beats them to the food. Slow and steady doesn't stand a chance. For the omnivorous ringtails, this is a banquet. In the dry season, virtually the only wild food growing in Berenti is leaves. So this rich and varied buffet gives the Ruins gang a huge advantage over the other gangs. Queen Crystal dominates the feast. If they stick with Crystal, they'll be well fed and their offspring will grow up healthy. But Crystal plays favorites. A cadre of loyal supporters gets to eat with her. Males are low ranking and have to wait. And so do any females who get on Crystal's bad side. Wisely waiting on the sidelines is Erica. Ragged and balding, she's the oldest female in the troop. Erica used to rule this troop but she lost her crown to Crystal five years ago and fell to the bottom of the female hierarchy. Weakened by five years of bullying and hunger, she still managed to have a baby, Kit. He was born a week ago, like all the other infants. Socially outcast, Erica has only one friend among the troop mothers, Pam. Pam's also at the bottom of the heap. She and her infant Jamie wait for food with Erica and Kit. This is how Crystal rules. Get plenty of food to keep most of her troops strong, but ration it to keep her would-be challengers weak and maintain her iron grip on power. <laughs> <laughs> 